In this video, I will show you an extensive tutorial on how to perfectly draw your brows. It is beginner friendly and it takes less than 15 minutes. So grab your tools and let's get started. When it comes to your brows, the first step to acquiring a perfectly drawn eyebrow is to check how sharp your natural brow is. This is absolutely necessary, but it can also be overlooked. When your natural brow is blunt, it is difficult to draw on it and can result in flyaways just like this after you finish drawing your brows. So the first step I recommend you doing is acquiring a eyebrow razor and actually shaping your brows you can choose not to be too detailed because all we want is a little sharpness and we're good to go and i'm gonna be using the dove flawless eyebrow shaper just get an eyebrow brush brush up my natural eyebrows up we're gonna start from the bottom i hold my eyebrow razor just like this and i just start from the bottom that's how I go. Now that I'm done with the bottom, I'm gonna brush my eyebrows down and shape the top as well. This is why we purposely want that sharpness because it allows you to draw perfectly on your eyebrows and for your eyebrows to look so natural. The next thing you want to do is hold your eyebrows down and by hold I mean something to keep your eyebrows down so you can properly draw on it. Brow gel or brow soap are the finest solutions for keeping your brows in place and if you have thicker hair you can just use lash glue or hair glue the best and the most affordable products that i use to hold my brows down is the sugoco brow styling soap this brow soap is not only affordable but it also keeps your brows in place for an extended amount of time and it removes all the oils from your eyebrows making it much simpler to draw on your brows because it's water-based you have to wait for it to dry for a little bit and after that you're going to press it down with the back of your brush or get something fancy just like this and press it down you can see how flat it is now so now if I go in to draw, it's going to be so easy and quick. Now that your eyebrows are perfectly shaped and flat down, we are going to the next process, which is powder process, which most people avoid, but it is quite important. To make the brow hairs stand out and pop, you have to use a powder to mattify the brow. And I'm going to be using the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder in the shade Banana. Dip into it a little bit. That's off the excess you need just a little bit to mattify your brow and go ahead and place it onto your brows you can see that it is completely mattified all the oils have been taken out with the help of the brow soap and the powder so now your brows are going to be drawn on perfectly and i like to follow it up with a lip liner or an eyeliner and i choose a shade slightly darker than my skin tone so it pops more you will need a very sharp pencil and you don't want your pencil to be too bold or too blunt or the eyebrow strokes will look more shaded than hair strokes i'm using the rk by kiss ultra easy lip liner and it's in the shade dark brown and as you can see i have adored this eyeliner and i don't want to get rid of it even though it's too short to mimic hair like strokes use a gentle hand and pay attention to the shape and arch of your brows start with soft strokes at the back of your brows and work your way forward and be careful not to apply too much pressure on the front because we want this to look as natural as possible after that you should use your brow brush to buff out and blend with your pencil strokes especially in the front it is perfectly fine when you look crazy like this after drawing out your eyebrows that is why we incorporate the use of a concealer to make your brows look more crisp and precise use a concealer that is one shade lighter than your skin tone and i will be using the elf hydrating camo concealer the satin finish in the shade deep olive to achieve that perfect cut 
you need an extremely flat synthetic brush just like this this will help you control the movement of your concealer and where you want to place the concealer you should also start in the middle with a very little concealer and get your tail straight and sharp and then you can clean the front of your eyebrow with the excess you need to go in straight with a buffing brush just to buff out the concealer because you don't want it to sit for too long you can now see that perfectly cut brows you can see that cut shape and it is so crisp and precise now with the top brows i will recommend you using a foundation shade closer to your skin tone or a concealer shade closer to your skin tone because it might be a little hard to blend out concealers that is lighter on your top of your brows so just be cautious if you want to use a lighter shade i'm gonna be using the nars natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade New Caledonia. This part is very crucial to the eyebrow steps and this is when people actually think they're done with drawing their eyebrows. What you want to do is grab a brush and with the middle part, you try to blend out the concealer with your eyebrow. And this is how to perfectly draw your eyebrows. As you can see, it does look like it is drawn on, but it is natural and simple. It takes less than 15 minutes to achieve. This brings us to the end of this video. If you find this video helpful, subscribe to my channel. Put on the notification bell so you are the first to see my videos whenever I post. Like, share, and comment what video you want me to do next, and I'll definitely do it for you. Till then, I will see you in another video. Bye-bye!